everyone, and welcome to an example video on collecting animal behavior data using the scan sampling method. If you missed the introduction to scan sampling, be sure to go back and watch it in case you have any questions on this method. Just as a quick reminder, scan sampling is where you observe a group of animals for a specified amount of time, or your observation period, and record the behavior of every animal in the group at specific time intervals, such as every two minutes. For this type of sampling, you'll need a stopwatch or timer, a clipboard, pen or pencil, and a data collection sheet. Remember that a data collection sheet is a piece of paper that you've made where you have rows and columns. Your first column will be labeled time and your second column will be labeled behavior. Each row will be a new observation. My question today is how often do chimpanzees groom each other? Grooming is a really cool social behavior that chimpanzees do with their friends and family, where they look at each other's hair and make sure it's nice and clean. To answer this question, I want to collect data on this type of behavior. So behaviors that I'll record are, as grooming are looking through another chimpanzee's hair and removing dirt and bugs from that other chimpanzee's hair. Because these are more regular and longer behaviors, and I want to collect data from the whole group, I'm choosing to use the scan sampling method. My observation period will be 10 minutes, so I'll watch my group of animals for 10 minutes and my time interval will be every minute. So for 10 minutes, I'll watch this group and every minute I'll record what each of the animals in the group is doing. Because this is a smaller group I'm watching today, I feel like I can record all of their behaviors every minute. But you may choose to have longer or shorter time intervals. It's up to you and how many animals you're watching and what question you're trying to answer. For each observation I make, I'll record the time it happened in the first column under time and the behaviors from each of the individuals that I observed under behavior. For scan sampling, you can fill out your time column before you begin because you know that you'll be recording every minute. So now I have my group of chimpanzees that I want to watch here and then I'll start my timer for 10 minutes. Let's go ahead and get started. of collecting animal behavior data using the scan sampling method. Now I have a count of the number of times my observational animals did the behavior I was interested in and I can answer my question. Thanks for watching and be sure to tune in to our other videos on collecting animal behavior data.